Hi guys, so this is one for my soul brothers and sisters. If you're not into the universe or spirituality, scroll on, see you later. So now that we've got the people who will get this, um, I had a timeline jump about four days ago. Um, and I just wanted to talk to you guys about it, break it down. You guys will know what it's all about. And I've just been on my mind for a few days. So I feel more settled in the new timeline. Um, but I just kind of want to give you those key points just so you can give me your ideas on it. So as they say, like timelines, jumps always happen when it's something to do with water. If you go swimming, you get in the bath, you get out of the bath, you're getting in the shower, out of the shower, you're washing your face or whatever. Um, water helps the transition to be much smoother. Now, the first point I'll make is I have made conscious smaller changes to what I'm doing and uh, out of my original routine about a month and a half ago I started. So I was expecting the timeline jump but I didn't know when it was going to happen. The first thing I'll say about that is consistency of doing something different means you inevitably change the route of your life and that's how you know that the timeline jump. So I was expecting it at some point. Um, and also because we are kind of in tune with the universe, we know what to expect when it happens. So how it happened, I was in the shower um, and I had the sensation of, I'm going to call it death. Um, and what I mean by that is I got to the point in my shower where I had to shampoo my face or wash my face. And I closed my eyes and I was rubbing my skin. And all of a sudden, stopped all sensations. There was no sensation at all. I couldn't hear. Obviously, I couldn't see because I was washing my face. I couldn't move. I stopped and I didn't feel like I was standing or sitting down. I didn't feel anything. I was I had no awareness of anything at all. And that lasted for about three seconds and then I could feel everything again. And it was so bizarre. It's the most intense jump I've ever had. And it's been about four years since I've had the timeline jump. So um, I, I fucking loved it. And I fucking love this shit when it happens. But basically, um, so I'd, I'd expected something to happen. It happened. And I got out of the shower as normal. And then I was like, now, if that was a timeline jump, I will expect something by the end of the day to be out of place. Don't, I'll just look for it and figure it out. Um, so that was the second thing. The day went past, nothing was really happening, and then that evening I was driving home. Now, on a drive that I do about four times a week, the same route, um, same places, same businesses, and all that kind of stuff, I got to this little village that I drive through, and I got lost. That is what changed. So for that part, I was like, what's changed here? I don't know where I am. And I, I know this road, I've been driving it for almost a year, and I got lost. Bizarre. So um, I was trying to figure out what the difference was. Um, and the roads weren't straight anymore. So there was a couple of, just a couple of sections of road that were like 100 metres completely straight. And I'm not joking, they're all windy now. And there's a house on every corner of the wind. Really bizarre. Um, so that's the only thing that prompted me to realise this is the new timeline. Um, something else I was thinking about when it comes to things changing is if anyone is still watching and they think I'm completely off my head, I don't know if you've ever heard of the Mandela effect where you believe you've seen something as a kid and then now it doesn't exist, but you know you experienced it. Well, that's another version of what a timeline jump is. Um, so the town's exactly the same, except one of the news agents that I drove past I'd never really noticed before because I never drive past past it. I just drive towards it and then turn away. Um, but I was, it was such a vivid, it, I was so aware of it that I'm like, was that even there before? But then it makes you wonder, like, maybe it's just a perceptional thing. But the roads, most definitely, 101% used to be straight, these two or three areas. And that's why I got lost. Because I was on a bend instead of a straight road. I couldn't see what was coming ahead. Um, but yeah, that's what happened. It's been about four days. I feel more settled into my new timeline. 
and it's definitely a result of the changes I've been making for the last month and a half. So six weeks of changed actions have caused my life to go into a different direction. Cannot wait to see where it's going to lead. I just hope it leads to somewhere positive. Um, but yeah, I want to let you know that if you've experienced something like this before, guys, drop me a message. Let me know what, what happened. Um, don't forget to follow, subscribe, you know, all that stuff. And I will keep you updated. I'll speak to you guys soon. Take care. Bye. Boop.